Hello there, this is Daniele from Toolchefs and in this video we're going to have a look at the new blend shape modules. So this is my variation scene, we already had a look at this scene in previous videos. I changed it slightly so that uh, uh, the head of the, each robot has uh, some blend shapes. So as you can see here I also gave the blend shapes some you know, meaningful names uh, and I tried to make them as short as possible and we'll see later uh, why. Um, so in here uh, I'm going to create some variations now the blend shapes have been exported inside the, uh, these two geometries so if now I create a new agent group and also I'm going to import the variations that we just exported I'm going to uh, make a new grid layout, uh, state machine, and then I'm going to add the new blend shape manager. So if now I rewind, I'm going to go in variation mode because uh, you have to be in variation mode to see the um, to see the blend shapes. I forgot to add the variations um, module, and I'm going to set a variation to be robot one which was the one of the name of the variations that I exported previously. So here I have my robot with uh, the robot one variation and it's in the idle state. So now if you select the blend shape manager and you click on the manage blend shapes button, you'll see that this new UI will pop up. So this UI basically what it does is it parses the variation JSON that is stored inside the scene and it displays here all the variations that, uh, sorry, not the, um, all the meshes with plan shapes that uh, are available. Um, so what you can do here is like, so we have these two buttons here. Uh, whenever you click on expand all, it will expand the entire tree. Whenever you click on expand to enable, it will expand only the um, items that have blend shapes that have been enabled. In this case, it would have done nothing just because I, I didn't enable any of these blend shapes. Be careful whenever you click on this expand all because uh, whenever you expand, we uh, parse the, each geometry file to check if there's any blend shape in them. So um, yeah, just be careful whenever you, you click uh, uh, on this button just because it could be quite slow to, to parse all those files if you have a lot of uh, uh, geometries. Um, so if you want to add new um, new blend shapes to uh, your uh, agent group so you can edit them, you can double click on them like, like that or you can select multiple and uh, click on this button. You can also disable them if you want. Uh, so let's say I want to um, have uh, this tree and uh, for now let's just work with the robot one just because this is the mesh that is used by this variation so uh, the robot two should be able should be used with the other um, geometries for the other robot I'll click on this button now the um, uh, blend shapes have been added here and I can start edit them uh, whenever you click on the uh, OK button on the apply button in the so on this button here in the blend shape manager uh, this will will actually reset the simulation and uh, add the, these uh, refresh this UI so that you can see already the blend shapes. Um, so okay, so here I'm going to uh, set a keyframe here and set another keyframe here. And if I now press play, you see that the blend shape now is uh, is uh, is animating. Um, you may be wondering why we have such a long name here while the blend shape name, blend shape name was just. Uh, uh, called closed eyes. This is because uh, of course when you start animating these and for instance you have blend shapes with the same name applied to different uh, um, um, meshes um, you, you want to be able to know which mesh you are, you're working on and also on which agent type. So in this case we are saying this is the Atoms robot, this is the mesh name and this is the blend shape name. Um, this underneath is going to be converted to the right uh, uh, blend, uh, metadata name for the agent. Um, you you can check which um, which which name uh, I'm talking about in the previous video for the blend shapes or in the documentation. But it's, it's pretty similar to this one. It actually, it is the uh, the name of the agent type, then the name of the mesh, and the index of the blend shape. So in this case, uh, uh, we are using name, so it's easier for you to actually you know what's uh, what, what blend shape you're editing and so on so in here of course you can um, uh, start you know playing with these values and uh, 
you can uh, animate them or you know create connections if you want to drive them uh, but yeah it's basically how you would animate any 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 blend shape in Maya uh, you can of course also override these values per uh, per agent so if you have more agents with uh, these blend shapes uh, you can decide uh, to have like to have to have just some agents with uh, with these blend shapes and so on um, okay so this is one the first module this is like a very uh, very simple module uh, and it's uh, um, mainly for uh, for you to drive your blend shapes manually um, the other module is called uh, um, the blend shape anim so I'm going to um, go back to my um, variation scene and I'm going to create uh, a couple of animations for uh, uh, our blend shapes I'm going to go here and I'm going to start with, so I'm going to key all of these. Now the animation, I have some animation for these blend shapes and I can uh, go in the export, uh, blend shape anim exporter, start and I'm going to say I want just the animation to be exported from 1 to 40 and I'm going to provide a name for the uh, blend shapes. And it's gonna be called um, bl blend shape blend animation. Let's say blend anim. Save run. So that file has now been generated. So here is our uh, agent uh, with the variation robot one. I have already applied the blend shape anim module, which is the module that lets you uh, read that uh, file that we just exported. Um, you can of course disable this module by using this checkbox or you can uh, disable it per agent uh, now what, what I'm going to do I'm going to press this manage animation buttons and this will open this UI uh, again this, this is kind of similar to the other UI but what you can do here is actually you can add animations for your uh, um, for your uh, um, agents here so I'm going to work on the agent uh, type atoms robot I want to work on the head because this is the mesh that has those uh, the blend shapes that were animated I'm going to pick the animation file so blend shapes I'm going to keep the property to loop you can also say no property meaning that this will actually um, don't loop the animation for the blend shapes I'm going to click on the apply button, I'm going to rewind, I'm going to start play and now as you can see the animation is looping for the blend shapes. Another thing that you can do is you can use um, an area trigger for triggering the, um, the this animation. So for instance now I'm going to say I want to enable a trigger metadata, I'm going to call it trigger metadata Gonna click apply. If now I press play, you see that the, there's no blend shape um, animating in on my on my on my agent head. So what I want to do here is I want to add a new metadata. Move it before uh, I'm gonna move it before the blend shape anim just because I need it before this uh, um, this module gets evaluated. Then I'm going to add a um, an area trigger. And I'm going also to create a plane and I'm gonna move it here. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna select. So now for the metadata, I'm gonna call it trigger metadata, which was the name that I used previously in the UI. And then I'm going to say this is um, the type is going to be double. You always need a double uh, a value. Um, and then uh, basically the, the the blend shape the, the trigger will start working between uh, values from zero to one. So zero is disabled, one is completely enabled. Um, then I'm going to say add a trigger. I'm going to drag and drop this plane here. I'm going to say I want to change this metadata, which is the trigger metadata. And then I'm going to say I want to change the uh, yeah the value uh, it has to be changed to one and it's a double value. So now if I gonna rewind and I press play, you see that whenever the agent gets into the plane, it will start uh, it will start animating. So the blend shape sorry will will start animating. So I'm gonna just move the plane a little bit so you can see better. 
Um, so you know, blend shapes, and now the blend shapes are uh, are being animated. And this is all for the new blend shape modules. Thanks for watching.